we are about a week in with this information and I'm referring to uh, the sudden tragic you know it's still was tragic death of Kevin Samuels um, first time I heard of it my uh, my cousin she sent me a, a message and I was like I can I couldn't believe it I was like oh nah that's not true that's not true um, I started listening to Kevin Samuels probably um, man I'm trying I'm trying to think of when I when I when it, I, I, it was an accident I said it was just Kevin Samuels it had to be about uh, maybe six seven months ago before I and at first I thought that his delivery was a uh, I thought that some woman had hurt him because his delivery was harsh yeah his delivery was harsh and I was like some some woman really hurt this dude bad then I started listening you know some people just hear but are you really listening I started listening to his what he was saying the message and the more I listened to it it was almost like food to the soul it, w it was stuff that I actually started agreeing with as a 43 year old man stuff that I and you and we got to look at what he's saying or what he was saying because keep this in mind before there was Kevin Samuels there there was a Stephen a pastor by the name of Stephen Darby who passed away suddenly in his uh, mid 40s that gave a similar message you know there there's another guy out there shout out to JT um the message that that he was given through even though it may have seemed that it was geared toward black women if you listen to his podcast years earlier I mean like he said he spent three years talking to the young black man black man in general how much money you should be making pull the pants up shine the shoes cut the goddamn braids off do this and he was uh, yeah he was all about that image the more I listened to him, I discovered that this dude was actually for the black family. He was for the black family, black empowerment. I mean, I mean, and if, uh, like he would say, if Becky happened to pick up your man or Mei Lin, he was like, they're coming after them. You know, there, there's still a lot of good black men out there that preach the same message. The, the message that he was sending to the black woman and the black male number one this is the stuff that I would be telling my son even with my wife there my wife is white this this is the this is all the stuff I would be telling my son when I look at my grandparents that have been married for over 65 years and how my father my grandfather conducts himself he conducts himself in the same manner my grandmother as a black woman conducts herself as as a servitude to her man who has never had my grandmother worry about a single bill in her life has has catered to her you know th this was the the example that Kevin Samuels was talking about was about how our grandparents I'm saying this as our grandparents my father's mother and father used to be now, how my father, uh, you know, went through, went through uh, three marriages, one, two, three, it's on the third one, somewhere the message gets lost or doesn't get passed down, but Kevin Samuels was literally taking that message and passing and putting it out there, you know, in his delivery, oh, his delivery is harsh, he's saying this and that, uh, I, it, it's the truth, if you see a, a Mack truck, heading towards somebody, a, a child, or somebody that you cared about, you're not going to softly say it, hey, please get out the way, you're going to scream, get the F, or like Kevin Samuels said, get the French toast out the way, you know, so the message that he was putting forth, as, as our women being overweight, as, as A, B, C, and D happening, it a lot of the stuff that he was putting forth was statistics 
blackstatistics.com. Numbers don't lie. Our women are. If you go to the city of Chicago, I'm not freaking kidding you. I'm not freaking kidding you. And I'm not piggybacking or using clickbait. But yeah, a lot of the women from the city of Chicago, go look at them. Size of linebackers. You know, they got the broad backs, 300 plus pounds. And mind you, they're very nice, very accommodating. But at the same time, from a healthy standpoint, you know, a woman does gain over 30 pounds upon pregnancy they will experience diabetes they will experience uh i mean and he was just laying the laying the numbers out there even if you come over here to las vegas come over come out here to las vegas and if you look at the white women if you look at the asian women in shape not, not you don't find many overweight you know they they sitting there running up a hill with a uh with, with the baby stroller, two baby carriages in there, two, two babies in the stroller. You know, if you, if you go to the, to the Smith Shopping Center, and I asked my wife one time, I said, have you ever noticed, have you ever noticed that the women that seem to stay in shape are the white and the Asian women? You know, I mean, and, and, and these, these are all factual. She looked around and she was like, I said, look, look, and I said, why is that? Why is that? And, and, and I believe I believe in an age where people are glorifying asses or br Brazilian butts and, and thickness that that is you no, know, you know, our, our, our women are our, our women are like, no, nah, I'm thick anyway. And they taking pride and joy in it. You got to realize that these women that are getting Brazilian butt lifts, the Kim Kardashians there, you got to realize what frame of body they have anyway. You know, and, and a, a lot of things that he said once and you if I, I i i you know it's too soon for me to listen because i've listened to a lot of his shows a lot of his shows where actually women actually started thanking him hey thank you thank you it was stuff that i already was saying i've been saying this i've been saying this and i've only said this out of observation hey women if you're if you're at this age and you and you you're not at a b c and d and you are not married and you get a sickness or or some major tragic life event happens guess what that's it that's it that is it for you i'm not saying that that's the end of life but at the same time and i, I and i'm only going to use my personal experience it's like okay if you if you look at my household um you know i, I was making a significant amount of money 150 to 300 thousand a year don't need to make that anymore but but, you know, my wife is now going into 47 years old. And here's the thing. If I happen to actually leave that household, you know, if I leave my household for whatever reason, sickness, or, or if, if I die, she's taken, she's taken care of by life insurance and all that. But if I happen to just walk, every, walk away and, and I don't, you know, for, for some reason, she doesn't get anything from, from me walking away. Do, do you know what condition she'll be in? You know, she'll be literally stuck at her job, you know, at, at, at 47 years old. As a woman gets older, her biggest competition, keep this in mind, her biggest competition in the work market is the younger female. The younger female. And here's the thing. The stuff Kevin Samuels was saying, a lot of us men say it. We say it in barbershops. We say it in bars. We say it amongst ourselves that some of the older men, you know, you know, my dad, probably 60 some years old, would pull me aside and say, hey, you learn from me. I did this wrong. He put it, He put everything that men have been saying out in public, out, out in public, out, in, out, out on social media. It's 100 percent true, 100 percent true. But keep this in mind before he was doing that for the women, the black female. He was doing that for the black man, the young black man, telling us how to straighten our image up, telling us, hey, if you single out there and you're not trying to get the bag and, and you sitting there playing video games and you're not trying to be operating at this level, what are he was doing that for us first. He really was. So when when I when I found out that he was doing that for us, you know, my 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 stance on him became a fair stance. And I actually started looking at the statistics. The, the statistics the statistics that he was saying go to blackdemographics.com go to here 
and, and actually went there and it gave the gave the true statistics numbers don't lie so um it's very unfortunate that um that his his death his death you know that that was tragic very unfortunate very tragic that 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 happened I, I, and it was hard to believe because he was he was a proponent of health you know he 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 was a fighter you know um he was actively fit he had to be if he was going to live out the message that he was preaching keep this in mind there are many of us like that many of us like that and our delivery is the same. Our delivery is freaking the same. You know, as you get older, as a man gets older, as people, I would say men or women, our message, there, there's no need to lie. There's no need to sugarcoat it. It's straightforward. You know, it, it, you, you, you can, if you, you could take the heat or get out the kitchen. You know, before that, you know, we had the Farrakhans of the world preaching to people, preaching to the black community. You know, we, I, I can go on countless of people you know who who gave important messages and, he, and we're still out there and i'm going to say we as black men because the message is going to go forward you know it's like i told one of my technicians i was like dude cut that shit i said it just like that dreads going all over the face your nappy beards and stuff like that and guess what i said dude you need to straighten your image up i know you guys see mine but i'm not out there trying to get a girl I'm not out there going after another job. I'm, I'm a working man. I'm solidified 10 years to 15 years in my business. But you best believe that if I didn't have this going on or if I was in or out of season, as I say, you, all this would be trimmed up. All this. You will always catch a nice appearance. You know, and, and I told him, I said, cut that, cut that shit. Cut the naps, cut this, cut that. And you know what? And you know what he came and told me one day? He said, my fiance at the time told me the same thing you were telling me. And guess what nationality she was? She was white. She was, She said she didn't like all the beers. She didn't like all the naps. She liked him to keep. I was like, dude, that's most. That's about 99.5% of women in general. Men, clean yourselves up. You know, uh, groom your toes, groom your hands, you know, come in smelling good. Take a bath. You know, this, this, I said, if you can't keep the dreads coming from Chicago, I got, let's call, let's call it a, a nice grade of hair where I can rock curls and a fro. You guys just look at all my videos. One day it's curly. One day he's sitting there playing piano with a bushy fro. You know, I like doing that at times. Next time he'll come with a fade and, and he'll look completely like a different person. I like to change it up. But, um, you know, all of this stuff is stuff men like me, there's a lot of us out there, pass on to younger men. And guess what? It's the truth. It is the God honest truth. So, um, you know, his message is, it's not even Kevin Samuel's message. It's not even his message. This is the message to the younger, the, the older men. This, this, we are the chiefs. We are the chiefs passing it on to the, the younger men. And, and, and here's 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 another thing about it. A lot of the fathers that we have are either in jail or incarcerated, you know, so you have a lot of women raising, you know, very sensitive, emotional men. They can't take this information or they call them women's queens and, and crap like that. It's like, no, 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 no. There, there's a lot of different things that 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 women and men have got to do before they get called into queenhood or kinghood. Hold it down for your home. Your man comes home and he's he's making sure all the bills are paid. There's no wonder why my grandfather, when he came home from his long hours, there was no, you're not home to see the kids, blah, blah, blah. It was like, that man's out there working. He told me, he's like, I was out there working I, and he provided for seven kids. My grandmother didn't have to pay a single bill, didn't have to drive anywhere. And, you know, I told my grandmother, I said, that man served you and you're serving him. Till this day, there's no retirement home. There's no uh, that they got to be put up into some some house or anything like that. All their stuff is paid for. And he made sure that happened. That that's the message that we need to get at this. That's how you take care of a woman. You know, that is exactly how you take care of a woman. And there's a way that women should take care of men, too. You know, especially if, if, they're, if, if we're going to be black on black. Yeah, there's there's a specific way that we like to be taken care of. Yeah. Have that man's food ready when he gets home. Yeah, set set a beer right there. You know, uh, uh, and, and let's go back to Bible days, man. That, well, let's go back to, uh, what was we talking about? 
J Jacob and Esau. You know, there's one thing that Esau sold his birthright for was a freaking hot meal. Stew the way he wanted it. Guess who knew how to put that meal in front of that man that was working in the field all day hunting, trying to bring venison home. He was a hunter. He wasn't a mama's boy, as we like to call Jacob. Jacob wasn't no mama's boy either. Jacob was a tuster too, but he wasn't always at the crib. You know what I mean? He was always at the crib. The mother did. How did the mother know how to serve that man? To the point where he sold his birthright. That was some pretty goddamn good stew. You know, so so keep this in mind. I, I would admonish you. Listen to Kevin Samuels. Listen to Steve Darby. Listen to JT. Listen to me. The end of this message. Hey, if you disagree with what I say, dislike me. If you like it, like it. Don't forget to hit the, the bell and the notification button for more content like this. Peace.